Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Aquaria. Last time, we came into this fleshy place of fleshiness, and uh, we're getting ready to fight a boss that I'm kind of scared to fight because I forgot to hit the save spot. Uh, but anyway, off screen, I made some food, so we might not die. And I believe it's time we get going. Let's go fight this guy. Heading on in here. Oh, look at the fleshy gross. So nasty. The Oh, there is a save spot in here. That's really handy. Hopefully, like, it's nearby. And it won't mess with me or anything. Like, I, I really do hope they don't put the save spot... Oh, they did! They put it after the boss, but made me able to see it. That's real nice, thanks. Okay, this jerk, uh, I don't know his name. He probably has a name. Oh, fudge, I forgot how to do this. It involves something- Oh, it oh, you have to do it with these guys. I remember now, okay. Give me one of the- Give me one of these fools. I said give me one of these fools, there we go. You have to wait for him to start going all sucky fish suck. Sucky fist suck. Come on. And, uh, he's not doing it. Okay. We'll just do this. Do this. Captain Nasty. Will you just suck up my juice? You, you know what? You suck. Because you won't suck up my juice. Suck up my juice. No, curse you. Uh, he won't do it. Well, we gotta get him to mess with this dude that we've got. He really doesn't want to right now. We've gotta get him to eat this guy, though. Oh, eat it! And it'll poison him, hopefully. In which we can shoot him, maybe. No, I don't think so. We've gotta wait for this other guy to come, though. He should be- Oh, he's really getting angry at us. <laughs> he's getting really close. That's not good. Okay, back off, dude. What are you doing? All, is, all I know is that we need another one of those. Yeah, there we go. He makes a new dude. He comes to fight us. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, swim through the gross. There we go. He turns into one of those big fat guys. Uh, eat, eat this hand roll. Eat another one. I've, I've already lost the majority of my hand rolls. That's good. That's real great. Um, start sucking. Start sucking, bro. He's not gonna do it, he's gonna spit. That's great. That sounds nasty. Suck or spit. Oh geez, my mind. Okay, get going. Ow, where do you... Quit your jacking around. No! No! Ugh. Okay, that was really in a... That was really unnecessary and unneeded. When will this guy just insist... This guy insists upon being a... Oh, I can use this thing as a shield. That's kind of cool. But that's not what I want right now. I want this. Fight you back. Get back. And he's gonna start not doing anything. Thanks for not doing anything, sir. That's exactly what I needed. Now get back. Get back, you fool! And get back. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Okay. Oh, yep, we've come to the end part of the fight, I think. Because it's starting to make the fighty noises. Oh jeez, and his attacks are big. That's not good. Get up here. And his ooh, his eyes are it always looks it looks like his eyes are blacked out. They're not, but it's kind of creepy looking. Oh, you jerk. Okay. <laughs> Don't stomp on me. And he makes a dude. Dude swims over here. Ah, dude, get gross. Come on. Dude, get gross and disgusting. There we there we go. That's that's why I was looking forward to. Now, we have to Oh, don't kill me right now. That would really not be cool. Arcane po Oh, that gives me full health. That's really nice. Um, ah, what are you doing? Get back. Back, 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 back. Far back. Far. And eat him! Oh, oh I better not die. Okay. Are you dead now? What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> That's really terrifying. Um... I hope this I hope this is of use. Oh his eyes are blacked out. That's kinda creepy. Um Eat this. Do I have a spicy cake? How do you how do you make the spicy rolls? Plant leaf, fish oil, spicy meat. Oh I don't have any plant leaves because I used them to make the healing poultices. Oh well. Okay. Well, if this guy would die soon, that'd be really, really appreciated. 
Ah, no, don't fall on me. That's really, really not cool. Back up. Oh, wait. Why is his pelvis, like, flashing? I guess that means he's almost dead. What's happening? I think he's dead now. Yes, you're dead. Oh my, that was awful. <laughs> Cutscene time. Mythalus, as it once was. A grand city built by a noble people and watched over by a royal family. They were all children of a god named Mythala. The Mythalans immortalized their god's noble visage in stone and built many statues honoring him throughout Aquaria. For hundreds of years, the city of Mythalus stood strong, providing its inhabitants with long, fulfilling lives. If only the vision had ended there. If only every Mythalan had been noble. With the comforts and safety of the city came a new calling, eternal life. The Mythalan priests, who acted as Mythala's mouthpiece, saw the coming of a greater god. A creator who had designed and given life to each of the gods. A creator that would eventually destroy their entire race, as he had so many others. The priests delved deeper into the hidden secrets of the verse to escape the bonds of mortality, but the powerful magic they discovered came with a high cost. They bound Mythala in chains and began drawing out his life force to power their soul. They executed heretics one by one, forcing Mythala to feast upon his own children. Mythala began to change. His mind sank into the simple, dull anger of the beast. Eventually, he stopped shedding tears as he ate. The hunger had consumed him. The rot inside Mythala's heart grew. His body became bloated and deformed. His flesh began to spread throughout the city, polluting the waters. Drask, the prince of the Mythalans, had seen his family die at the hands of the priests and their mutated disciples. He confronted the priests, and though he could not prevent their escape, he did discover their secrets. I wondered if he still lived somewhere beyond this world. The vision began to fade. Mythala's spirit was departing. For the first time, I tried to reach out, to communicate. Oh, great Mythala, I need your help. My girl, I am dying now. It is my time to rest. You have suffered so much. But I must ask a favor of you. Speak quickly, little one. For I do not have much longer. Who am I? You are the child of the Thirteenth. You are the one who will unite the waters of Aquaria. You will restore the balance of nature. And you will find love, Naja. You have so much to see, and you will become so much. There will be great pain, but I have faith that you will triumph in the end. Take heart, little one. Thank you. It is growing cold now. You have freed my spirit at last. Now, Little Naja, take my form and journey to the land of the light.
In beast form, my strong animal legs allowed me passage through powerful currents, and my sharp, jagged teeth proved invaluable for devouring my prey. Okay, so that was another god we met, Mathala. It's kind of, his story is actually pretty. I find it pretty sad how he was forced to eat his own people. Oh gosh, that's really creepy. Oh geez, okay, there we go. It's a good time to save here. But um, we should be going back through part of this place at least. We are. There's actually another power we can get here, I think. But what you've got to do now, this what's really handy about this, is you can pretty much just run into enemies and eat them. And it's really handy. Especially when it's really annoying to just have enemies crash into you. Uh, boost towards enemies in beast form to bite them. Oh gosh, I did it wrong. There we go, we ate them. And I think you can, sp yeah, once, if you eat certain enemies, you can spit their, their kind of shots out for a bit. Which is kind of cool, I really like that. However, now, why am I going through this path? I could easily have gone through the other one now that I'm in beast form. I'll probably be using this power second most. It's really, really handy, but I really like shooting fireballs in my hand. Actually, I probably will be using this a lot because you, a lot of places you just can't get to without it. Um, I don't think I'll be going back in there, even though, or well, there's that little spot down there, but I really have no idea what that is. I might want to go check that out. I think I will. Uh, oh, well darn it. You're supposed to be able to get up there for something. I can't remember how though. That's annoying. Um, or no, we've got to go up there, don't we? And that leads there. I'm confused. Because there's a way to get up into that square, into that weird room. That's not a square, that's like an octagon. And in that room, you can get a new power that we will need for later. Oh, well, you you don't really need it. It's optional. But I do plan to get all of the ab extra abilities in the game. Not necessarily all of the collectible items, but uh, definitely the, uh, the all the songs. Because those are handy, and it unlocks a, quite a decent amount of things. Now, let's head back out into the city liquidy streets. Oh, the music's nice now. That's cool. I like the music for this area, it's so pretty. Ooh, I feel stiff. I feel stiff. Gotta loosen up. Loosen up! Loosen up! Loosen up. There we go. I'm good. Anyway though, I think I'm gonna head over there. My heart pounded as if it was about to erupt. I had survived. Many and innocent had lost their lives in the palace. Their hopes and dreams had been extinguished without reason. They would not be forgotten. Their spirit would live on inside me, and in time, I would avenge their deaths. So now I guess we know where Naja's from. Apparently, I, I, I think, and I'm pretty certain that she's a citizen of Mathalus, or was a person who lived here, because earlier when we found that house, that referenced, like, there was a family in there. Oh, why'd I eat that? I just killed myself! What the heck? Oops. Okay then, guys. Um, next time I'll find you in that one spot I was talking about. I just killed myself. <laughs> I poisoned myself with a freaking sea loaf. That's... Or a poison sea... Get that crap out of my inventory. Get that out of my kitchen. There we go. And get that rotten meat out of there too, that's no use. Those fish bones aren't either, or I don't know. What the heck? Why would you make an item that kills you if you accidentally eat it? Oops. That's annoying, okay. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching. And in the next episode, I believe we will go up to, like, this cornerish area. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys then. Let me get to an actual screen so I can say goodbye. Goodbye.